It's hard, you know. I, I just I just told the team uh, that you know I, I often am wrong, so I try not to make blanket statements in the locker room right after games. It's that until I watch the film, often I think you know some individual performances are better than I thought. Some were maybe not as good as I thought. And as a team, uh, I, I like to be really really specific with what things did we do well, what things did we not do well. So um, you know, both in locker rooms and in media rooms, I, you know, I think it's really hard to put just a uh, you know. A, one overriding statement on our team. Clearly, Duke was the better team, and they showed it in a lot of ways. And so, you know, the way that we're going to attack this is again, what parts of our effort? Uh, we start. We have to start there. Where did our effort, if if at any place, you know, uh, drop off? Were there times in transition where we weren't sprinting, where we weren't talking, where we weren't controlling things that we could control? The next level then is what skills got exposed. Clearly, Duke's hands were so good; they got deflections everywhere. Our drive and dish game, our ability to create shots for others, was clearly disrupted. Now, how much of that had to do with us maybe you know, not driving hard enough versus just our skills on being able to jump stop, lift fake, throw a pass. You know, those are the things now as a coaching staff that we really need to look hard at and that these guys will be working hard on uh, you know, when we come back into practice you know, this week. So from watching, you know, Duke, Duke's had a lot of teams that are not ranked come in here and had no trouble putting them away. You all gave them a fight for quite a while. So yeah. how much better was this than the first time you played there? You know, look, two first halves uh, where Duke was – one of the best shooting teams in the nation. I mean, they shot 80% overall from our, at our place. And they shot 80% from three-point range today. And it's not like we had a game plan where we're sitting back in the paint. Look, we were doubling their posts and we were, we were congesting the paint. And they were getting that ball out and efficiently getting around and, and, and making shots with hands coming out in their face. And, you know, I, look, they're hard to guard. They're hard to guard. They're good inside. They're good outside. They're good at transition. They can drive the basketball. Uh, so, you know, when you help, they make you pay. When you don't help, they make you pay. Um, and so, you know, what we were able to do was stick stick through that game plan and, you know, being able to withstand some of those streaks. I mean, Trisha Liston was on fire in the first half. But, look, she's one of the best shooters in the nation. So, uh, you know, look, I, I, I really believe our team will never quit. I felt like uh, there might have been some individual, you know, performances that, that people got a little bit down on themselves. And that's, those are great learning experiences. That's why you come to Cameron Indoor Stadium and you go compete at the highest level against the best teams in the country because you learn how to get better. There's no question.